Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 on the Server Guys server. This is officially episode 8. I think I got some numbers mixed up, but this is actually episode 8. Uh, you can see that uh, we have done some work here on the Nether Hub. I was on earlier with the Fox and uh, Flacco joined every now and then to uh, just kind of give us moral support. But we got a little bit of it fixed up. Uh, changed a little bit of it, got the walls decorated, which I worked on. So I had a whole bunch of footage recorded, uh, about an hour's worth of footage, but because the screen recording software that I use, ScreenFlow for Mac, because I have a Mac and not a PC, it's a long story behind that. Anyway, ScreenFlow is a big old piece of poopy that only works when it wants to. Uh, all of that footage is gone for the time being, as of me recording this tiny little intro right now. Uh, good news, I was using the replay mod and recorded a little bit of the process of building all this. So this is actually going to be a really short video uh, because I only saved uh, maybe five, five or ten minutes worth of actual uh, footage from the replay mod, but uh, I'll, I'll show all that and then if the video is not long enough, I'll come back and do a little bit more, give you a little bit of insight on what I plan on doing for the rest of this. So really quickly, here is a bunch of what we did with the, uh, with the nether hub and building all of this. So we'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so that was just a quick little uh, clip 
of us working on the nether hub uh fox was starting to work on some of this over here we're just trying to figure out a way to kind of bring the whole room together kind of make these walls a little less flat uh the color adds to it and we had an issue with some lighting once we put glowstone up in all the corners and everything everything started brightening up and looking really really well uh really good i guess i should say so the plan uh fox ran through it a little bit but obviously all that got cut out the plan is we have the south east uh then we've got north and west tunnels which are gonna lead out to various locations on the map and within the nether hub so if we actually build across here you can see we have the command block which has been deemed the server guys logo and uh I, I, i'm not really sure who decided on that uh fox fox made the logo and uh i know that in one of the seasons uh killong or somebody had built a giant command block uh monument up in the sky and i guess the fact that i always say at the beginning of our uhc's i'm too cheap to pay for a server with plugins so we use command block systems so it kind of fits it fits the fact that command blocks are kind of like the circle they they keep it vanilla that's the thing you can do so much with the command blocks and keep it vanilla which is always my thing is keep it vanilla but anyway so over here we have uh this portal as uh, base and chuck's portal the back is flacco's so you can see everyone's built kind of their own path out here. So that's Flacco's base. Um, apparently this is Bass and Chuck. So everyone's portals were down at the bottom where we had them before. So Bass and Fox built this. Uh, they cleared out all of this to build the hub in. And then so everyone is moving their portals up to... Um, y level 101 which is where we are right now so these little areas over here uh are gonna be tunnels in case uh more portals start getting built so these command block sections are gonna be enclosed so you're not actually gonna be able to see the back side of this or the back sides of these so uh, as far as I know, nobody's built anything else. I've built mine over here uh, on the green side, which obviously I picked green. Uh, I, I was on this side before I colored this, but obviously green for the full run through logo. Uh, so if we come out here, this is what I wanted to show you all. Uh, my plans coming up. So we come all the way down here. And these tunnels are going to go indefinitely in the north, south, east, west until we obviously run out of room. Uh, so over here is my portal. I haven't started working on my tunnel yet. That's going to be in one of the upcoming videos. So this portal is not to my spawn house, the, uh, the full run through incorporated main headquarters. This portal actually comes out in the middle of a field which this field is right above if we come down here it's right above the prank video that uh, the fox and base pulled on me so this is actually this is where they built it and they left the portal the portal was right here but I ended up moving it up here i moved the portal in the nether straight up which put me out when i came out of the portal it put me where it is up here so that is where we stand right now so let me get up to the top and let me explain kind of what the plan is for all of this so i have a little farm going on here and I have this big open space. Let me actually climb up here to show you. 
uh, just a big open space that's not claimed. Like, none of this was claimed before they pulled that prank on me. So I have pretty much this whole area to kind of work with. And the way, the, the way I feel is it's been so long since I've played that I'm kind of out of ideas. So would to... I'm not out of ideas completely in terms of, like, playing, but I'm out of ideas in terms of what to do back at base, back at spawn. So I'm going to use this area to kind of spark some inspiration, uh, kind of a fresh start, not necessarily on a new map, but just a fresh start in a fresh area, so... That's what we're going to do out here. This is just a way to kind of clear our minds and uh, get get some new ideas. So I have, I have some plans on what I want to do out here. I'm going to start by clearing out all of this forest area and kind of flattening the terrain out a little bit. And we'll get more into what we're doing out here later on. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm going to clear everything off camera. So... Uh, I might I might do some more replay mod stuff, which uh, that it's pretty cool. I, I'm I'm really enjoying that mod. Uh, it's not really it's it's one of those things. It keeps it vanilla, but at the same time, it makes recording a little bit easier. So that's really the plan. Obviously, like I said, I've got a little farm out here to get me started. Probably make some crops over here. So this is this is the new area for right now. Every now and then we'll jump back to spawn when I get some ideas on what to do over there. But this is just two two projects to be able to work on at the same time to hopefully one influence the other and give us some ideas of how we want to move forward in the series. Uh, 1.12 is coming out pretty soon. Right now the pre-release is out, but it's kind of buggy. I say kind of, it's like a lot buggy to the point where you can't even... You, I, I, I think it's like anytime you go to craft something, it crashes, which is kind of half the game. You mine and then you craft. So that that's not in the distant future of us updating anytime soon. Once a steady uh, once a steady release comes out, we're gonna talk about it. We'll have a group meeting, talk, discuss what we want to do. We might completely reset the map again which i realize we kind of just got into this map but i'm cool with resetting i'm always up for new ideas but like i said everyone's still kind of new on this one so updating it won't won't change too much so the sun is going down and uh this was just a quick update video on what's gonna happen i'm like a I've posted I'm going to try to get into a swing of making some more videos right now while I have some free time going. So thank you all so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep running. That's a stupid outro. I'm going to try it. Thumbs up if you like the new uh, catchphrase. So uh, keep running, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!